Howdy, howdy, howdy. <laughs> this is a um, intro for the video uh, that you're watching right now. It's a um, critiquing of the first oil painting that I've done since I was in high school. Um, and I'm 23, so that particular oil painting, uh, I, it's kind of like a learning curve I was having to um, get with the program a little bit. So I just want to go back and look at my painting process for this painting and really show you guys how I critique my own artwork in order to improve upon on the next painting. So we're gonna go ahead and get into that. From life, it's very... Yeah. So this is my setup as of currently. I have the canvas over here and then my jars for my mineral spirits and whatnot, my reference photo. That's And then this is where I film my... I paint with my tripod right in front of me. So, hi, toodles. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Okay, so I just took these out of the packaging. I'm gonna start putting stuff on the palette. I see a lot of people do like their underpainting or whatever with this with burnt umber, but my reference picture is kind of I don't know, kind of blue toned. So maybe I should do that instead. I don't know. I'm just gonna put down all all and any colors I feel like putting down. So the first critique that I would give is that my underpainting does not have a ton of contrast in it. I didn't put, I didn't map out my values like I should have, and I made it a lot harder for myself to uh, place color down the line. The whole point of having an underpainting is so that you can get all of the correct values into your composition without having to worry about what color it is. see I'm trying to uh, block in the quote-unquote darkest areas in the painting. I had no uh, correct frame of reference for how dark the values were actually supposed to be because my underpainting was garbage. So I was really struggling at this point to mix my colors correctly and figure out what was up. My next critique, looking back on it, is I probably should have put blue uh, for the shadows, blue in the red for the shadows because I don't know what possessed me to use burnt sienna, but uh, shadows are generally blue toned and um, it's just not nearly the correct value that it needs to be. And that's when I realized, oh, I'm missing this leaf over here, and this leaf over here, and I ha also missed this leaf, so I need to fill those in before I do everything else, and blah blah blah, and this and that. And after putting more of the dark tones back in, I can go back with my mid-tones and try and uh, clean it up a little bit. This is the part of the, this is the layer of the painting where I can be a little bit more um, precise about where I want to put things.
This was the point of the painting where I really started feeling comfortable and I really started feeling like, oh, it looks like a painting now. This looks like pomegranates. I think I definitely need to invest in some sort of uh, pole or something uh, that I see these painters using because I was struggling uh, to not touch the, the canvas. I got paint all over my hands and I smudged the paint a couple times. You can see, look, you can see I'm struggling to figure out how to, how to, how to do it. Now, me personally, uh, the lighter tones and the highlights are, I think, the best part of painting. I think it brings the whole painting together. It looks so good. It's so fun. It's the best part. I cannot get over it every single time. But I can also see where I left some of the canvas um, kind of empty. Like you can see white spots on the canvas and it's really bothering me a lot. Um, because honestly that should have been... I should have messed with that before I even tried to put in highlights.
The rest of the painting after this is just me basically filling up all those white spots and putting in those green highlights for the leaves and uh, making sure that everything is cohesive and put together. My biggest takeaway from this painting was trying to get back into the swing of using oil paints and figuring out when it was appropriate to use thin paint versus thick paint and what layers and all that other stuff. And I think the reason I had so much white left on my canvas towards the end was because I was too worried about making sure that everything looked right initially instead of making those big broad strokes that I would normally see in an oil painting. I was really concerned about detail in the beginning, uh, where I should have been more concerned about detail at the very end of the painting. Uh, that's why my underpainting looked so sketchy. I think that was a big part of uh, why I struggled initially with this painting, and why some of the values even now, as you can see, are just a little off. Especially even in the light, you can see that the shadows on the pomegranates are not exactly shadows, <laughs> um, but they're pretending and they're doing a very good job. But this is how it turned out in the end, and I think it looks fine. Um, for my first oil painting in years, I think it's okay. Um, lots to learn from it, so thank you so much for watching. Um, I will be uploading every week now, so I'll see you guys next week.